I see it as men and women, women serve each other through the ways that are natural to them. So the, the man with his masculine qualities serves the feminine's needs and vice versa. That's how I see it. Cindy said the man should be the man of the household. I would go a step further again and say he's the man of the family. You know, because it's not just reduced to the household. When we leave the house, because some people say, well, he's the head of the house. No, he's more than that because he's the head wherever he is. It's not just in the house. He's the head of his family. Riri said, men can still take that more dominant stance, but can still submit to his women in ways we're a team. I wouldn't use the word submission in terms of saying that a, a woman's, a man submits to his, his, his woman. A man submits to a higher form of structure or principle or purpose or his understanding of God and through uh, submission to the higher power, creator, so on, whatever you believe in, or a higher set of principles at least, those principles would include the protection of his woman anyway. Because if, a, if someone is to lead and there must be one leader, if a man's not leading, a woman will naturally take up and feel like she has to lead where he's unable. So if a man is a leader then, or someone is a leader, then the other person who is a part of the union would have to indulge in that by submitting to that leadership.